Hi there everybody, as you can see I'm still tying rigs and this round I'm going to do in four parts. I am covering today the spinner rig. Now the spinner rig has got a wide variety of uses and applications and you can do them with a wide variety of hooks. So I'm going to quickly run through them with you. The first one I'm doing the crank or the Kamakura crank. Then I'm going to do the wide gape. And you can also do that with a Kamakura wide gape. Then I'm going to do the curve shank. And then one that Danny Febras has been using of late, which is the long shank X. All of them does exactly the same job. The choice is yours as to which one is your preferred hook pattern and your preferred way of doing them. So let's start off today by doing the crank. All my spinner rigs start off with exactly the same boom section. Now you can select either a five and a half inch or a seven and a half inch uh, section. The back part being the slightly bigger loop and the front part being a slightly smaller loop. And you will notice that there's no ring on my spinner swivel because I cut it off. Now I start off by taking a 26 centimeter piece of 25 pound boom and I cut the line at both ends at an angle because it just goes through the crimp much easier. Now I take my 0.6 crimp and I just slide the line through the barrel I fold it back and through the other barrel like that. Now I've got my little loop. I take my crimping tool and the small one, the one on the front, just make sure that your crimp sits upright in the crimp tool and you press down on it. There we have it. Now all I need to do is just cut off the tag end. And my first loop is made. Now I do the second one. For the second one, I take my crimp first. Slide it through. Then my spinner swivel. And then I slide the line through the second barrel. Now I want to create a seven and a half inch length. So all I now do is I just measure so I can get to that desired length. And there we have it. All I now do, I just slide this crimp back so I can create myself a small little loop. Again, crimping tool. Make sure it sits upright and I press down on it. And cut off the tag end. There we go. Now I stretch my boom section. So I take my puller tool and my choddy tool. And I pull and I stretch it literally three times and then I've got a straight piece of boom section. I take my Kamakura crank out of the packet and I slide the wax layer off and there you can see how incredibly sharp this hook is. Now I take my kicker, there it is, and I cut a piece off because I want the back end to sit in a very particular way and you will notice now when I slide the hook over the kicker, like so. 
The next stage is I take my micro ring swivel and I hook it on like that. And now I take my hook bead. Let me just get the hook right. Pop the hook bead on. Turn the hook on its back. And just with my thumbnail, I pass it over. So there I have one portion of the rig completed. All I need to now do is take my boom section and I take the spinner swivel and I just hook it on like that. Now I need to just pull on the kicker and slide the hook bead over and there you have it the last point i've just got to put a piece of putty on there which i'll quickly do for you take my dark matter putty select a piece of not too big and also not too small i actually like to overweight this and i just press it onto the crimp and i mold it like that now we're going to do the bait presentation side of it and for this, I'm going to take an essential IB pop-up. I need floss. I need my lighter. And I need a floss cap. So let me just put the floss cap there. There we go. Now it's as simple as taking the floss cap and pressing the floss cap into the bait like that a biting needle press it through and then my floss just cut a piece off there now it's as simple as sliding the floss through the little swivel getting both pieces of the floss together and I fold it back like that so that they sit tight to the swivel now I've got quite a few layers of floss it's a matter of just sliding the hook bait on and getting about half of the bait into the swivel. Now I just get my scissors and I cut a piece off and then my lighter and I burn that and I dab it and there you have it. This is now going to be a pop-up and this bait is literally going to sit like this on the bottom. We'll do the tank test just now. And there you have an absolutely beautiful presentation of a pop-up on a spinner rig with a size 4 crank. Seagulls were dancing all around I woke up 